Graduation Ceremony on Usace's YouTube channel. The QR code that links to the site is found on the last page of the program, as well as on the monitors next to the stage. We will begin the ceremony momentarily once the live stream has started. Thank you. Good morning, graduates, family members, and guests. On behalf of Major General Michael McCurry, Commanding General, United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence, and Fort Novosel, welcome to the graduation ceremony for flight school. Would everyone please stand for the invocation and the playing of the national anthem? Chaplain Travis Wilson will give our invocation. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we are so grateful and thankful for today. As hard work has paid off, I thank you for these aviators to come and defend our freedoms. Lord, bless their hard work, the countless hours that have been put in to get to this point in their lives. Lord, bless their careers, anoint their path, be with their families, have them hold their head up high knowing that they did the right thing. Lord, bless this day. It's in your precious and your holy name I ask these things. Amen. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your headdress. Thank you. You may be seated. Please welcome Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Men, 1st Battalion, 223rd Aviation Regiment. Well, good morning. And what a great day it is. And for our uh, guests from Hawaii, uh, I hope you got some good sleep and uh, welcome this morning. Aloha. Uh, family members, friends, instructors, Thank you for your support in commemorating this tremendous occasion. We are delighted each of you can celebrate with us this morning. Attending today's ceremony, representing the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence are Colonel Jason Woodward, Commander, 1st Aviation Brigade. Colonel C Christopher Logsdon, Deputy Commandant for the Army National Guard and Senior Guard Advisor. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Axtell, Commander, 1st of the 145th Aviation Regiment. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Nigel Hubscher, Command Chief Warrant Officer, 1st Aviation Brigade. Command Sergeant Major John Bonilla, 1st Aviation Brigade. Command Sergeant Major Joey Dotson, 1st of the 145th Aviation Regiment. We would also like to welcome Colonel Brian Jones, Commander of Air Traffic Services Command and the 164th Theater Airfield Operations Group at Fort Novacell. Colonel Jonas Petruno, Director of Aviation and Safety, State Army Aviation Office of the Massachusetts National Guard. Colonel Michael Stoll, United States Army Retired. Colonel Angela Stoll, United States Army Retired. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Dave Spielman, Director of Flight Standards within the Army Aviation Brigade at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Michael Anderson, Detachment Commander, Massachusetts National Guard. Thank you for joining us this morning. To our newest Army aviators, congratulations on achieving a significant milestone. 
In just a few minutes, your flight school journey will come to an end as your friends and family pin the wings you've worked so hard to achieve on your chest. I hope they will always remind you of the professional aviators who trained you, the special community you now represent, and the sacred duty we have to support the ground force. The ground force is depending on you to get them where they need to be, when they need to be there, or to protect them from the enemy. And when you find yourself on the receiving end of a desperate plea for help, I know you'll respond, moving heaven and earth to help the men and women on the ground, because that's what Army Aviation is all about. We exist to support the ground force. I'm proud of you and eager to see each of you realize your full potential as Army Aviators. Before I introduce our guest speaker, I would like to quickly reiterate the process for pinning our aviators. Your aviator will be called forward, cross the stage, and then stand before the stage to await their family, friends, spouses, or children to come up and pin on their wings. The master of ceremony will cue you by saying, please come forward to pin your aviator. At that time, please come forward and pin the wings on your aviator. Take a moment to celebrate this momentous occasion before returning to your seats. The stage will also be available after graduation for you to take as many additional photographs as you would like. This is a defining moment in all of your lives and one you will never forget. Congratulations to each one of you. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the guest speaker for today's graduation ceremony. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Andrew Barclay, is a master aviator with more than 23 years of military service. He originally enlisted as an air traffic controller prior to his acceptance into flight school. He is rated in the OH-58 Delta Kiowa Warrior and the AH-64 Apache Delta and Echo models. During his time in the Army, he has received numerous awards and decorations and served in a number of key positions, including instructor pilot, air mission commander, troop standardization pilot, squadron master gunner, battalion senior warrant officer, and brigade master gunner. He currently serves as the AH-64 Chief of Standardization and Senior Warrant Officer Advisor with 1st Battalion, 14th Aviation Regiment here at Fort Novacell. Please join me in welcoming Chief Warrant Officer 5, Andrew Barkley. Hey, good morning. Thank you guys so much for letting me come and speak to you on this special occasion. You know, whenever I get the chance to do these uh, guest speaking events, uh, I try to think, you know, exactly what am I going to say, what words of wisdom am I going to pass. Um, and I try to think about my own, you know, flight school graduation, which was about, you know, over 20 years ago. And I try to think, well, what was said at mine? Who was the speaker? What were the words of advice that were passed? And, and to be honest with you, you know, I don't remember, right? I don't remember who it was. Uh, I don't remember necessarily what they said. Uh, but what I do remember was that day. Um, and I do remember the excitement of pinning my wings and completing something that I had worked so hard to attain, which of course is the title of Army Aviator. Uh, but what I realize now all these years later is that what I thought I was completing uh, was truly only the very beginning. The beginning of an adventure that would take me around the world, some of the most beautiful regions and some of the most terrifying regions imaginable. Some of the most joyous moments, some of the most solemn moments. I work out at Hanchi. Uh, where we brief new students every two weeks as they get ready to start the Apache course. Uh, on day one of that journey, I remind them that there are times we need to take a step back and recognize just where we are and how we got there. I probably briefed some of you, you know, sitting here today. Um, today is one of those days for you all. You have put in the work from beginning a warrant officer packet to competing to breach avi uh, branch aviation, to come in here, to learn how to hover, learning how to hover, endless studying, learning how to fly in the clouds, endless studying, learning tactical flying like a true Army aviator, endless studying, and then finally getting into your go-to-war aircraft, which was, of course, accompanied with endless studying. But here you are now, you've made it. You are entering a community that few have or will ever enter. You are joining the innovators that began Army aviation in Korea, the pioneers that developed and perfected the concept of air mobile operations in Vietnam, the men and women who guarded freedom, freedom's frontier during the Cold War, the air crews that fought dictators in Panama, Grenada, Iraq, and Somalia, and finally the warriors that have battled terrorists for over 20 years in the deserts of Iraq and Syria and the mountains of Afghanistan. You are now among us, ready for your own set of challenges and victories that are yet to be written. So yes, today is a day to stop, celebrate, and reflect. You are beginning your own adventure, full of many of the experiences that many of us in this room have experienced as well. 
the great times, the not so great times, the joyous moments and the scary ones too, but you will experience them together as Army Air Crews, united in our mission to support the ground force at all costs. And so like any true senior Army aviator, I will offer you just a few nuggets of advice before we close this thing out. First and foremost, remember that whether you have 5,000 hours or 50 hours, the only hour that matters is the one you're about to fly. Stay proficient in your abilities as an aviator and be ready to act when the time comes. The goal is to never run out of altitude, airspeed, and ideas all at the same time. Remember why this branch exists, to support the soldier on the ground. That should be our motivation in absolutely everything that we do. And lastly, enjoy it. The time does go fast. When I say that it seems like yesterday that I was sitting where you are, I truly mean that. Take it all in. You will see and do some truly amazing things. Make sure to make time to savor it. I want to say congratulations to you all on your tremendous accomplishment. I look forward to seeing you in the skies in the future. Fly Army, above the best, Air Cav, and attack. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barkley, for your inspiring remarks. At this point in the ceremony, we honor those graduates who have excelled in the course. Graduates who are within the top 20% of their class receive special recognition as Commandant's List graduates, honor graduates, or distinguished graduates. The distinguished graduate is the title bestowed upon those officers who attain the highest overall scholastic average throughout the entire course of instruction. As the title implies, it is the mark of excellence representing outstanding achievement in academic and flight endeavor. Each distinguished graduate shall receive engraved sterling silver wings provided by the Army Aviation Association of America, plus an additional gift from the Military Officers Association of America. At this time, I take pleasure in announcing the distinguished graduates from class 24011. Lieutenant Israel Bowden. Second Lieutenant Bowden is Army National Guard and a distinguished graduate. He is a U-860 Mike pilot and is based out of Hawaii. Warrant Officer Mason Vandermeer. Warrant Officer 1 Vandermeer is active duty and a distinguished graduate. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. We will now recognize the remaining top 20%. Lieutenant Lakin West. First Lieutenant West is active duty and an honor graduate. He is an A864 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Andrew Weeder. Second Lieutenant Weeder is Army National Guard and an honor graduate. He is a U-860 Mike pilot and is based out of Pennsylvania. Warrant Officer Matthew Bertram. Warrant Officer 1 Bertram is active duty and an honor graduate. 
He is an A-864 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Braxton Borders. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Borders is Army National Guard and an honor graduate. He is an A-864 Echo pilot and is based out of Utah. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Jeremy Hallgarth. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Hallgarth is Army National Guard and an honor graduate. He is a U860 Mike pilot and is based out of Indiana. Warrant Officer Jeremy Pegram. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Pegram is active duty and an honor graduate. He is a U860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Daniel Gurant. Warrant Officer 1 Gurant is Army National Guard. And a, and a Commandant's List graduate. He is a U860 Mike pilot and is based out of Kentucky. Warrant Officer Kane Storino. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Storino is active duty and a Commandant's List graduate. He is an A864 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Now we will recognize the remainder of the class in alphabetical order by rank. Lieutenant Daria Efimov. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Efimov is Army National Guard. She is a CH-47 Fox pilot and is based out of Colorado. Lieutenant Brandon Emmons. First Lieutenant Emmons is Army National Guard. 
He is a UA-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Wisconsin. Lieutenant Christian Flores. <laughs> Second Lieutenant Flores is Army National Guard. He is a UA-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Arkansas. Captain Trey Howard. <laughs> Captain Howard is Army National Guard. He is a UA-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Texas. Lieutenant Aaron Lucas. First Lieutenant Lucas is active duty. He is an A-864 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Lieutenant Aaron McConnell. <laughs> Second Lieutenant McConnell is active duty. She is an A-864 Echo pilot. Lieutenant McKenna Miller. First Lieutenant Miller is Army National Guard. She is a U-860 Mike pilot and is based out of Washington. Lieutenant Mary San. First Lieutenant San is active duty. She is a U-860 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Tyler Stowell. Second Lieutenant Stowell is Army National Guard. He's a UA-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Colorado. Lieutenant Shenandoah Tuttle. First Lieutenant Tuttle is active duty. She's an A-864 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Lieutenant Elizabeth Williams. First Lieutenant Williams is Army National Guard. She's a CH-47 Fox pilot and is based out of California. Warrant Officer Dane Attucks. Warrant Officer 1 Attucks is active duty. 
He is a UA-60 mic pilot. Warrant Officer Moomin, Akin. Warrant Officer 1, Akin is active duty. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot. Warrant Officer Jared Allen. Warrant Officer 1, Allen is Army National Guard. He is an A-64 Echo pilot and is based out of Texas. Warrant Officer Robert Blair III. Warrant Officer 1, Blair is active duty. He is a U-860 Mike pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Sean Cabrera. Warrant Officer Juan Cabrera is active duty. He's a UH-60 mic pilot. Warrant Officer William Esquivel. Warrant Officer Juan Esquivel is active duty. He's an AH-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Andrew Ferreira. Warrant Officer Juan Ferreira is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 mic pilot and is based out of Massachusetts. Warrant Officer Christina Fowler. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Fowler is active duty. She's a UH-60 mic pilot. Warrant Officer Thomas Gallant. Warrant Officer 1 Gallant is Army National Guard. He's a UH-60 mic pilot and is based out of Maine. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Akeem Gordon. Warrant Officer 1 Gordon is active duty. He is a U860 mic pilot. Warrant Officer Shaquille Gordon. Warrant Officer 1 Gordon is active duty. He is a U860 mic pilot. Warrant Officer Brian Harrington. 
Warrant Officer 1, Harrington is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Massachusetts. Warrant Officer Aubrey Hill. Warrant Officer 1, Hill is active duty. He's a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Joshua Holt. Warrant Officer 1 Holt is active duty. He's a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Jared Huggins. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Huggins is active duty. He is an A-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Dylan Kenny. Warrant Officer 1 Kenny is active duty. He is a U-860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Nemo Lachere. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Lachere is active duty. He is a U-860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Bryce Lambeth. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Lambeth is active duty. He is a U-860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Zachary McVaden. Warrant Officer 1 McVaden is active duty. He is an A-864 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Van Nguyen. 
Warrant Officer 1 Wynn is active duty. He is an A-864 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Anthony Reyes Garcia. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Reyes Garcia is active duty. He is a U-860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Christopher Skoblik. Warrant Officer 1 Skoblik is active duty. He is an A-864 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Charles Steiner. Warrant Officer 1 Steiner is Army National Guard. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot and is based out of Ohio. Warrant Officer Burke Tierney. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Tierney is active duty. He is a U-860 Mike pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Emily Tomlinson. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Tomlinson is active duty. She's a U860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Garrett Upton. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Upton is active duty. He's a CH47 Fox pilot. Warrant Officer Charles Weindorf III. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Weindorf is active duty. He is a U860 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Tyler Woodham. <laughs> Warrant Officer 1 Woodham is active duty. He is a U860 Mike pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator.
Graduates, please stand. Please join me in a round of applause for the Army's newest aviation warfighters. Would everyone please stand or remain standing for the playing of the aviation song, Above the Best, and the Army song, The Army Goes Rolling Along. gentlemen, this concludes the graduation ceremony. Thank you for celebrating with us and enjoy the rest of your day. Class leader, please dismiss the class.